a shit, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe <laughs> hey guys i wanted to do a really chill just chit chat video i know that nobody's gonna watch this asmr video because i'm not naked and that's okay also my hair looks insane it's getting so freaking long um i just took a shower i just jerked off with my boyfriend <laughs> Sometimes I just think I'm too open online, and that's okay. There's people who are very closed off, and that's a bad thing. Just kidding, it's not bad, but... Um, yeah, I just wanted to, like, chat a little bit. I wanted to film a video outside in my backyard. My dogs are out here. I need to pick up his shit still. Um, and it just looked cute. Like, I thought the sun coming through the trees was cute. Um, and it's really nice out. It's like 60, 70 degrees in Arizona, and it's just really nice out, and I've been loving it. I just feel so happy that the weather is so great right now, because the summer sucks, obviously. Um, and anyways, we had a friend visiting the last couple days, so I haven't really been able to upload. He's going to take a piss. Come here, Link. Link, come here. Come here. You know what I mean? An ASMR video? <laughs> oh, Mochi's here. You guys want to be in an ASMR video? Mm. These are my angels. Um, but as I was saying, we've had a friend visiting for the last couple days and um, haven't really had time to upload. Um, just been kind of busy with that and I feel like it's kind of rude to like not give them our full attention when we have people here you know what I mean um but he left today and we went to this breakfast place this morning called breakfast bitch and I just want to talk about it a little bit because I thought it was funny um it was in downtown Phoenix and it was a really cute place and everything on the menu is like the skinny bitch the fat bitch the there was like pigs in a blanket but they called it bitch in a blanket like it was just funny and then when our waitress came out she was like hey bitches <laughs> and i just thought it was hilarious um and i don't know i've just been happy and i don't know i feel like it's just been a minute since i just chatted talked a little bit uh a little chit chat video if he takes a shit again i'm gonna be pissed he's ruining my video thank you go away um but yeah i used to do a lot of ramble videos and lately i've been doing more like shirtless boyfriend content because you know it gets the views um and i like doing it honestly like i was playing video games with my friend earlier we were playing apex because we're addicted to apex if you guys know what that is and he was like how's youtube blah 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 he's like you've been posting a lot of sexual videos lately and i was like it gets the views bro i was like it's what the gays want i gotta please the gays my fellow homosexuals <laughs> but i don't know the sad thing is, is that those videos do get demonetized, and I used to try so hard to post those types of videos and stay monetized, but I think YouTube recently made it more strict with, like, sensual ASMR, and so I just don't care anymore. Like, if it gets demonetized, it gets demonetized. <laughs> you guys are probably distracted by my dogs. Also, hopefully it's not too loud, and it was going to be a little bit of, like, white noise, like, we live by a freeway, and... <laughs> He's just running around. Um, this video, nobody's gonna watch this shit. Oh my god. But, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, sensual ASMR videos. They get demonetized now, and I still just upload them. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Um, because they do better than videos that I can monetize, like this one. This one's guaranteed not gonna get that many views, and that's okay. Um, I don't mind making it. I know there's gonna be a handful of people that watch it, and I'm really grateful if you do. But, um, yeah, obviously as YouTubers and someone who's like in the entertainment industry, I guess, obviously you want to do shit that gets attention and stuff and people like those types of videos that are more sexual and stuff. Um, and so, yeah, I think every once in a while I'll post a video like this that's just chill and like a ramble and just talking, relaxed, whatever. Um, and sorry, I say, um, a lot. I try not to. 
People used to always get mad at me for saying the word like a lot, and I feel like I've gotten better at it, but I still say it a lot. I say like so much. What is my dog doing? Where are you going? <laughs> this backyard is so small. Like, where are you running to? Why are you running? Anyways, I thought it was a beautiful day out, and I just wanted to kind of show you guys the sky and my backyard a little bit. I'm also kind of obsessed with this mic right now because, sorry, it's so easy to make ASMR with it. Like, I don't have to record separate audio and video files. It just goes right into my phone. And I think it sounds pretty good for this little mic. Dude, it's great. Um, at least to me. <laughs> I'm not ASMR side guys or some shit. I don't think I'll ever be one of those ASMR artists who posts like insanely high quality videos like ASMR site guys or like um, I don't know, what's that one it, just like Atlas ASMR, ASMR, um, the guy who does like the barber ASMR stuff, like, I don't think I'll ever do that, you know, I don't think I need to, um, to grow community, you know, I, I'm coming up on 100,000 followers, which I'm so grateful for, um, without doing anything too insane, you know, I used to think I had to, um, but I know there's people out there who just watch because they like me, <laughs> I guess, or they like my voice, and I really appreciate that, um, and yeah, I just like making these chill, chatty videos, and you know, obviously I try to make videos like high quality and stuff, but lately I've just been kind of more relaxed, and I used to stress myself out so much with YouTube, constantly reading comments, constantly checking my subscriber count, checking my views everything and like lately i've kind of just been uploading and being like fuck it <laughs> like whatever happens happens and that's okay um obviously i'm checking my subscriber count lately just because i'm excited to hit a hundred thousand followers get my plaque that will be awesome I can't wait to like hang that on the wall <laughs> like that's such a big accomplishment to me and you know i dropped out of college <laughs> i'm pretty much a failure in life um you know, I was a welder for five years, and, like, I hated it, and so just to be able to be making money now doing this is just really special to me, even though maybe some people look down on it, it's not traditional, but there's so many ways to make money now, you know, there's, like, Lyft drivers, and DoorDash, or, um, I don't know, you can just hire people to do, like, random shit online now, you know, um, and I think I think making ASMR videos honestly has been very fulfilling for me. I feel like I help people and for a while, if you guys remember, I worked at a clothing store and I have talked about this multiple times, but I hated it there. Sorry, there's a siren. <sighs> Go away. Pray that whoever is injured is okay. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I worked at a clothing store, and I remember there was just one day, the last day I worked there actually, I was dusting shelves, and I was just thinking as I was dusting shelves, like, is this my purpose in life? Like, is this what I meant to do? Is this what I'm worth? And I was getting paid crap, you know, I was getting paid like seven, eight bucks an hour. And then I quit that same day, and I really started pursuing YouTube after that. Um... I started taking days off of work from my welding job to upload more because I really wanted to focus on it and grow my YouTube channel, and I'm just really happy with where I'm at right now, even though I'm not like a millionaire, I'm not fucking Mr. Beast, you know, um, but there's people out there who connect with me and like me and think that my videos are relaxing or hot, like even if people just watch my videos and think they're like hot, <laughs> like I don't care, you know, like I think that's great. That makes me feel good um, that I can help someone like that. I did have someone comment on one of my breathing videos saying that like they loved it because their husband passed away and my breathing sounds sound like reminded her of her husband sleeping next to them or whatever and like I just thought it was really cute and so seeing stuff like that and knowing that I'm actually making a difference in people's lives um, even if it's just a few like feels much better than dusting shelves at J Crew, <laughs> the place that I worked at, which is horrible, or welding, like, I just felt horrible welding, and I got injured, and 
I had coworkers like chop off fingers and stuff and I had to take them to the ER. Like it was just not a safe job, okay? Um, but yeah, anyways, sorry, hopefully my dogs aren't too distracting. Look at the sun. So in Arizona, we went on a walk this morning with the dogs and finally like the trees are starting to like change colors. <laughs> And like the leaves are falling off, which is funny because it's December. Um, but it's like we don't really have a winter, it doesn't snow, so fall kind of winter's kind of just like extended fall, which is amazing because fall is my favorite season. And so, um, yeah, the leaves are like falling off the trees and stuff now, at least some of them, <laughs> and I just think it's awesome. It's just it's cute. I love it. It's just cozy. I love my neighborhood. <laughs> um, it's just such a cute little area, and I'm just really, I'm really grateful for my life right now. Me and my boyfriend have been talking a lot about like life and our relationship and where we're living and our jobs, and we're just like in such a good place. And I just feel so happy because for years I felt so stuck where I was. Didn't know what I wanted to do for a career um i'm also a photographer which i was kind of going to pursue that went to school for a while i was maybe going to go to school for that but you don't need to go to school for photography like you can't train an eye really um and i'm pretty creative you know but youtube's just been great because i don't have to deal with people really um like yeah there's people that watch my videos and comment but i don't have to like look at that stuff if i don't want to when I was doing photography more, um, I would have to meet up with strangers and take their pictures, pose them, like it's a lot of work. And this is a lot of work too, but I don't have to deal with anyone else but like myself really and um, I just love it. So thank you, for those of you guys who watch my videos, I appreciate you. Just wanted to make this quick little update um, and hopefully you guys are having a great day. Monday, Tuesday, whenever you're watching this, it's Monday right now, but I'm going to upload this on Patreon early. Um, if you guys want to check out my Patreon, you can subscribe for as little as a dollar a month. I do a weekly short podcast on there. I post exclusive photos sometimes. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys are doing well. I love you. Thank you to all my patrons. I don't have my laptop with me to do my shout outs, but I promise I'll do that in the next video. Um, yeah, just want to check in with you guys, chat, have a chill little talk in the backyard. I know you guys can probably hear the birds chirping and stuff. I always love the sound of birds chirping. I don't know, it just makes me happy. <laughs> but anyways, have a good night guys. Appreciate you, I love you. And um, hope you're doing well. I'll talk to you guys later.